Sorry guys, day two roaring fork. Yesterday I didn't get my 20 incher that I was looking for. So maybe today we're up a little bit further than we were yesterday, a little higher in the river, but a little lower than where we fished yesterday evening. It's a little rainbow. This is a rainbow. It looks a little bit bigger than the last one. Some nice healthy fish. This one could be pretty close to the 20 inch range honestly this is a nice fish a lot bigger than it looks a lot bigger than I thought it is like a cut bow maybe it's nice though but yeah try to get out early tomorrow get some fishing in before the storm so day two tomorrow so yesterday evening we had some rain and didn't get the fish too much in the afternoon but right now it's a little early in the morning River looks good, so hopefully we can get our 20 inch fish and yeah, just get some nice fish today. So we'll keep fishing up. Same thing as yesterday, starting confidence stuff. I got a big heavy Prince Nymph on point and I've just been varying with uh, darker Prince Nymphs and pheasant tails up top and yeah, they've been working. Darker profiles needs to be working. Worked yesterday, even in even when I fished the evening session, it was all about darker profile stuff. So, yeah, we'll get started and see if we can get some good fish. Here we go, finally, first fish. Took a while. Took a while, it took at least 10, 10 minutes to get into one. It's a nice, yeah, it's a pretty good size brown, about 14 inch range maybe. Yep, first run of the day. Took this little hairs ear pattern that I tied. I started out with dark patterns like yesterday and wasn't getting anything on them, so I switched up. Went to a little bit lighter and took, yeah, a few casts with that and finally got into one. So, one on the board finally. Here we go, another one. Yeah. This one's a little rainbow. And right after that, like the second or third cast, and after that last brown, this one took the bottom dropper. Yeah, so only two fish. I'm gonna work back through. I'm gonna start a little lower on this pool. They seem to be sitting in the heavier water. The ones I caught were heavy, heavy water. I really didn't work that much on this uh, little run, so I'm gonna go back through it. A little lower and try to wait a little bit deeper to get better drifts on the far side. Here we go, finally. Yeah. So I moved back down because I just feel like I didn't work this pool as good as I should have. But yeah, little guy, uh, little guy at the bottom. 
So I started on midway earlier and went down a little loader started just because yeah, like I said, I feel like should be more fish in this, in this run I didn't get to. So one more time to go through it, see if I can get, pull, pull a few more fish. Can't tell how big he is yet. Maybe about. 14 inch brown but he's sitting in really fast water so it's hard to hard to move maybe a little bigger than 14 Yeah, about 14, 15 inch brown. My top dropper, nice fish. Here we go, another one. A little guy. Not as big as the last fish, but yeah, still. Second time through and I'm Picking up more fish. I switched to just a darker, like I said, smaller, darker profile pattern. It's on, a, it's tied on an oversized bead. So the bead's a lot bigger than, than like the size of the hook. So it's like a size 14 hook, size 16 hook with a 3.8 bead. It's a really heavy bead, a little bit smaller than average hook. And it just gives you the extra weight and the smaller profile with the extra weight and yeah the last two fish have been on that so maybe we'll figure a little pattern out so i got stuck on a stick in the river right there Yeah, so I got the fish, but he's stuck on a bottom dropper, stuck on a stick. There you go, he came off. Yeah, bottom dropper got stuck on the stick while I was fighting him. Here we go, another one. Yeah, not a big one, but still a little fish, still good fish. So I'll take the bottom dropper, got a little stone fly on point. There you go, nice fish. Fish of the day so far.
Took the bottom dropper. Looks like a nice brown. Good. Maybe 16, 17 inch fish. Like I said, fish of the day if we can get him. Getting them over to the salt water. Oh, and he came. He come off. I think he came off. Swimming. Yeah, he came off. He swam. There's a little bush right here. He swam into the bush and hook popped. Man, that's a nice fish, too. It's good. At least 17 inch on his brown. Damn. Here we go, another nice fish. I don't know if it's as big as the last one we just dropped, but it's still a decent fish. Yeah. Another nice brown. Yeah, 16, 17 inch range. Here we go, another one. Nice fish. Yeah. Was honestly wasn't kind of wasn't expecting that. I just kind of tossed out and they could just switch flies and like first cast of the new setup. Boom, fish on. And not another not a giant but still just another solid fish medium-sized fish it's a lot of medium-sized fish in this river all in about that good 14 to 16 inch range ton of fish here we go on the far side. Oh yeah, nice rainbow. Off stuff on the far side. Oh, broke me off. Man. But it's mainly been this whole run, so I started out about midway of this run and only picked I think two or three. It was kind of tough for whatever reason. But I noticed that the two I picked up were in really heavy water, really deep. So, towards the end of this run, it kind of it's still like that. It's fairly deeper and heavier water. So, instead of moving up into that little bit shallower, faster stuff, I decided to go back through one more time. And, yeah, I think it paid off. So, for me, 
it was just having the confidence that hey the fish are in deeper water that you just need to go back through there one more time and sometimes that's all it is is just hitting the same spot one more time with a little more confidence and that's kind of been the difference today or maybe the second time through and yeah caught some nice fish broke out some nice fish fish of the day was probably like 18 19 inch brown that ended up dropping there was one piece of uh, stick in the river that it swam to and got the hook out of its mouth and then the rainbow nice another nice rainbow just broke me off But yeah, it's been varying. Some fish will hit the top dropper, and some fish will hit the, the bottom dropper. But they've all just been in this fast one. So yeah, keep fishing another hour. Hopefully we can get a 20 inch here. But I can already see stones building, so I don't know how much we're gonna get to fish today, so. Here we go. Here we go. Nice fishing in heavy water. Another brown. But yeah, I was going to move up and I saw this little shady area, a little bit deeper water, so I looked too good not to put a few drifts through it. Chunky brown, man. Here you go, another one. It's in that shadowy fast water. This is a little rainbow. in that fast water. No, oh, it's a nice rainbow. Bigger rainbow than the last one. Good. 16, 17 inch fish. Not a giant, but a really strong fish. Yeah. Finally got him in. It's a good 17, 18 inch fish maybe. Nice.
another one same spot almost I was a little late on the hooks on this one I seemed to pause and for some reason I was just set just a little late I think I got a double actually got a brown on top and then uh look like a little smaller rainbow on bottom actually two two small brown two medium uh, medium A little double. Sorry guys, gonna end today's vlog here. Caught a decent amount of fish. It was slow to start for some reason. I had to go back to the run one more time to finally consistently get into fish. But yeah, overall it was good. I didn't get my 20 inch fish that I was looking for. Maybe had one on yesterday. Yeah. And maybe the one on this morning too. That was the browns pretty nice. But yeah, a lot of fish. I think I'd, for me, I'd rather choose more fish than a few big fish. So yeah, it's, it was good. You know, all the fish were pretty strong fighting too. They weren't like tiny little guys. They were all pretty good medium sized, healthy, strong fighting fish. Um, darker profile nymphs were, were kind of what worked for me. And just really focusing on getting the flies down and just slowing them down. So even in the faster water, throwing up as far as I could and then really getting a low angle behind them just to try and get them down and keep in contact with them. So that's what worked for me. Um, I tried the lighter profile stuff. Yeah, it, didn't, it just didn't work, which I didn't want it. They wanted the darker profile stuff. And so Prince Nymphs was my go-to on the bottom fly, bottom dropper. And just like a darker, I tie these little simple, just darker color. It's almost like a <clears throat> like a waltz, but with darker material. Just simple, really dark, no tail, ribbed, red, or just black to red. But that's what we're mainly taking up top. Had the first two on the lighter stuff, but yeah, it's all it was. Just the first two, and then the rest were all on the darker colored stuff up top. But yeah, overall, good two days of fishing. Um, yeah, I, I think the last time I was here was 2013. Nationals were here, and it was just as good as the fall time then. So slightly different river, but yeah, still good. So hopefully it's not seven years until I'm back here again. Hopefully, honestly, a few more months, and hopefully this fall we'll be back here because it's really good. If you have a chance to come fish the Roaring Fork, really good river every time i've been here i've been into nothing but big fish strong fish i think in the fall time i got a lot more big bigger fish like 18 plus and a few 20s but yeah still good to get into a lot of the medium sized fish but just a nice river especially if you're into euro style fishing it's got that perfect run for it perfect run and riffles for it yeah but we're gonna get back to the car and see how it goes like I said I don't know